50 50. So, so well, I'm going to show okay. you where Mohammed is a slave trader. A slave trader. Yes. So let's talk about. Would you my... condemn a slave trader? He believes the law should be secular. Yes. 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 He believes law should be, should be secular. Yes. So he's choosing no, 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 no. a Western no, 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 Christian no, 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 concept no, 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 over an Islamic no, 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 one. So he chucked his own Quran away. So if my children so, uh, so in in that time my We're not talking about that okay. time. We're talking about the Quran is applicable today. Okay, as a Muslim, so I know what you, you want would to follow say with what the Quran you. says. Right, and so the Quran says that son more there you go. because he's going to find a woman and start a family and it's incumbent upon him as a man to support that family. Right. Yes, I believe that. I, my daughter would get less yeah. because in the hopes she would find a man yeah. and start a family with him. And what if she didn't? What if she didn't? Then she would go into business for herself or get an education. Do you not see the injustice in your own logic? I don't think it's unjust. I think that it's a workable way. We have laws that a lot of people think are unjust. Well, it's in the Quran. Well, no, I, I can't agree. change it. I'm and, not going to argue with you about changing and, 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 Well, no, I, I, I agree. I would encourage you. So what do you. we do? You want to throw away the Quran? Yes, absolutely. You want to throw away the Quran? We absolutely want, should throw so away the Quran. Tell me, and the Bible is well, or just the Quran? No, no, just the Quran. So you want to tell me my faith is, is invalid? Yes, your and, faith and my, is invalid. And my struggle and my journey and my faith is invalid. Yes. You are incorrect. Right, so now let me you explain why. I don't want you to explain do you, why. Do you yeah. believe that we're equal in dignity? I believe that I would have, I believe that because of my faith and because I follow God, I have to treat you in a dignified manner. Right, In Thank a personal you. aspect, you, but, but, I would not normally do that. That was a great answer to a different question. Okay. My question was, do you believe that we are equal in dignity? Yes. Do you believe your children are equal in dignity? Yes. Do you believe, therefore, that people, that laws based upon the fact of equal dignity should treat people equally, i.e. they should be equal under the law. So you're talking about secular law or religious law? Well, I'm talking, talking about, about Sharia what? or so, are you talking about laws coming so, from so, the so I'm comparing laws that have been influenced by a Christian heritage mm -hmm. To laws that are influenced by Islamic heritage, and I am saying, and I am saying that laws that are laws. I'm sorry, sorry. Islam brought slavery. Do you know that? Okay, you're going to tell me that. Are you saying Muhammad was a slave trader? Muhammad was a slave trader. He was. Can you tell me where is that written? I'm going to come. I'm going to come and debate you later. I'm going to come and debate you later. Can I call a friend? This is like. Can we pull up the hadith where Muhammad trades in slaves? Fifty-fifty. So I'm going to show you where Muhammad is a slave. Trader. A slave trader. Yes. So let's talk about. Would you condemn a slave trader? In these days, I would condemn. But you a wouldn't slave condemn trader. Muhammad. I will not condemn Muhammad. Is Muhammad an example to you today? Yes, he is. So should you follow Muhammad's example? I will not follow that example. You will not follow that example. I, I'm not a slave trader. And that's because you're a better man than Muhammad. No, no, you, no. I'm you're not a, a better you man. You clearly Muhammad are. Peace be upon him. Is you, my teacher. You clearly Bible are. I'm going to debate there's you there's later. Yeah, there are slaves in the Bible. Look what Lot's daughter right, so let's, let, let's look at Jesus. He's my example. Yes. Okay. He lived at a time. He's a wonderful he, prophet. Yeah, exactly. Did prophet. he own slaves? Yeah. Did he know, no, he did not own slaves. No, he did not okay. own slaves. Now, who is better? One who owns a slave or one who doesn't own slaves? Did he condone slaves? Slave? 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 Who is better? Who is better? One who owns slaves or one who does not own slaves? I look at them both the same. So you, you Jesus, think... I look at Jesus and Muhammad on the same level. Did he okay. Slave? Okay. Now, I want to I want to show you that I'm not making it up about Jesus your prophet being a slave trader. Right? I am a slave to so, God. Jesus so, I look, let's, just admit I'm just in the Bible. Just in the Bible. Let, let's focus because these guys are just going to be interrupting ahead, continuously. Yeah, no, but I will come and debate you, both you of them you in a second. A right? In this, so there so came, so there came no, the a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle. On migration, he did not know that he was a slave. Then there came his master and demanded him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, Sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. 
and he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he had asked him whether he was a slave. So Muhammad was a slave where is, trader. Where is this in the Can we pull up the one where, he, where, where we sell in the Bible, women and children for weapons and, and products? In the Bible, so can we, can we just put that so, so hold on one second. Show me where, that's in hold the, on one second. Was that in the Quran? Right, right, you've come to speak oh, no, as I, Connie. I asked you a question. What's yeah. that in the Quran? No, that was a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay, thank you. So you want it from the Quran? Do you not believe in the hadiths? I'm a Muslim. Do you believe in the hadiths? I believe in some of the hadiths. There's That's some. What about the Sahih hadiths? Some hadiths are. What about are Sahih valid. hadiths? I've not, not heard the term Sahih hadiths. Sahih means reliable, trustworthy. Do you believe in those? It depends on who who says that. What who, about Sahih al Bukhari? Which what about Bukhari? Yeah. Bukhari's no collection. Let's, let's, Do you let's, let's quote them. Go. Let's get yeah. to where you're Stop going. Wait, wait, what about that Muslim? What about Sahih Muslim and Sahih al Bukhari? I don't yeah. know what you're talking about, right. so I'm going to prove ignorance. Okay. So you have, that's you fine. Have, you're, 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 you're talking to me, yep. you have a predetermined outcome because you have a belief. Yeah. Bring it to me. Okay, I already know what I believe. I don't have a predetermined outcome. I know I believe in God. Okay. I believe in yep. the Prophet Muhammad, yep. peace be upon yep. him. And I believe, yep. I believe that your journey in Christianity is just as valid in my journey in Islam. Yep. What you said earlier, you talked about me being better than Muhammad. That's not true. No, it is. But no, it but, is objectively true you that right you now, are I'm better going than to Muhammad. I'm telling you right now, man I mean, to man, to your face, Muhammad. is that it doesn't own a slave. Is is that huh? my but journey and my <laughs> my faith <laughs> is better than yours <laughs> because <laughs> mine is not you're predetermined. Not yeah. yours yeah. is predetermined. I come no, here to you learn. You come here to preach to people and talk about how people are bad, about how my prophet is bad. Your prophet was bad. He was objectively bad. I said. That it's your religion is just no as valid as mine, no but, but you have said you, you have said you, slay, you have you said soul. you should you, you, should, you should you should yes it absolutely and that's fine you're entitled to disagree wait you're entitled to disagree you're entitled to disagree because you say that because you say that and because you have that that attitude and that opinion you've lost all validity to me I can't I'm not going to have a discussion with you based on if you can't do what Muhammad permits you to do. Then, because your conscience is saying that it would be wrong to do so, and I think you're a, a person of good conscience. I'm not going to no, have sir, sir. I, li I listen. I listen. I listen. I listen. I listen. So, in terms of in no, 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 no. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to continue the conversation. So, so, so the thing is, no. So now notice the rudeness and notice how. Yes, you are. You're being rude right now because I'm talking to you. You're talking. You're talking. I'm talking. I'm talking to you. No, no. Hold on one second. No, no. You hold on. You hold on. You hold on one second. First of all, you're pointing. Why are you trying? Why are you trying to be intimidated? Secondly. Why are you I'm trying not, to be intimidated? Are you intimidating? Are you trying to no, be intimidated? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be intimidated. Are you trying to be intimidated? Don't point at me. You're trying to be intimidated. I am not trying to be intimidated. I'm not trying to intimidate you. So, so as I was saying, as I, I was saying, you said that my prayer is valid. You said that my prayer is valid. And the reason why you should throw it away is because your religion denigrates human beings. It denigrates your daughter compared to your son. It denigrates women. Women according to men, it denigrates the slave according to the free, it denigrates the Arab to everybody else, it denigrates, it denigrates Christians to the Muslims, it denigrates the Jews to the Muslims, and it denigrates pagans compared to everyone else. There you go, you've just denigrated humanity. Thank you very much. So you denigrate them. No, I know you don't believe in it, but would you denigrate them in your yeah, there you go. So there you go. So we started the conversation. Right, so so he you would denigrate him. He's a Sikh. Would you denigrate him? Would you denigrate him in law? Answer the question. I'll come and debate you in a second. Would you denigrate him in law? He is someone that in your religion is considered a pagan. Would you denigrate him in law? He believes law should be secular. Like, so he's choosing no, 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 a Western no, 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 Christian nice concept nice over an no, Islamic no, 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 one. So he chucked his own Quran away. He just chucked your own Quran away. Ask them. Ask them. Do you believe the law should be secular? 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 No. There you go. So he throws away his own Quran because he says he believes that the law should be secular, and that isn't an Islamic concept. Let's do a quick census. Muslims, son, do you believe that law should be secular? I'm asking you. He's running away. Every Muslim, put your hand up if you think law should be secular.
Speak to Jesus, teacher. One Muslim. All the other Muslims do not. So you're the one that's thrown your Quran away. You've just thrown it away. Should laws be secular? Should be laws be secular? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, want I want to answer. I want to answer. I can't tell Jesus in the Bible teaching. You cannot live by man-made law, but only God law. Agreed. So, so what are you saying now? So, I'm asking. Uh, now, answer my question. Do you believe that law should be secular? What is secular according to you? Secular, secular, secular means that they are governed by a non-religious authority. Are they made by man? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. I can't tell Jesus teacher. I just tell you. No, no. Answer my question no, to no. you. Oh, oh, do you I believe can't. that law should be secular? I can't just yeah. teach you. Yeah, I'm asking you. Oh, you you can appeal to Waimo. There you go. So he disagrees with you. You've just appealed it for secular law, and your Muslim brothers won't back you up. They're not backing you up. So you have just thrown your Quran under the bus. And that's why I'm saying you should chuck it away. The you speak doesn't make you right. So let's have a calm conversation. So what I say in my philosophy you don't believe is, the right to make love. is... He just said so. Is, I'll finish what I'm saying. The law Allah of the, the land, law. the law from the government should be secular and treat yep. everybody, everybody equally. That's the law from the Man government. Made. How I conduct myself amongst my brothers, yep. I practice Sharia. Yep. Okay? Yeah. If you steal from me, we're going to have a problem. Yep. You insult my wife, yep. we're going to have a problem. Yep. Okay? You come at me the wrong way, we're going to have a problem. You yep. murder, you murder somebody in my family, yep. we're going to have a problem. Yep. The other law, the secular law, under under Islam, as Muslims, we have to follow the law of the land. Yeah. Exactly. So you believe in man-made laws? Pardon me? You believe in man-made laws? Those are the laws of the land. I don't have to believe them. Yeah. See, you again, you've so, come, so, with, you've so come with the man I'm asking you, you said you believe you laws should be... What happened about outcome. raising your voice doesn't make it right? Why are we raising our voice? Because I'm trying to get a point across yeah. and you're not... And you keep yeah. cutting me off. You've come, with the man, you've come with yeah. a predetermined outcome. You, Do you, you know what my predetermined outcome is? I know that point. we're going towards it. What, what, what I've is seen it? you here before. What is it? You're a Christian man. What, what is the essence of my critique? Let's focus on the point. Can you even I, do you even understand the focus of my critique? Your, your okay. essence of your critique is anti-Islam. No. Yeah. yeah you no. told me. You, first of all, you told me my faith was not right. Correct. My journey. Uh -huh. My journey was false. Yes. And that I should throw my Quran away. You should. Based on all three of those. And he things, came to you. Yeah. He came ba based on all three of those things, I don't have time. And frankly, I don't give a about and what yet, you've and got yet, to and say. Yet you may. Oh, and there you go. And there you go. So, so, okay. so the, let me actually tell you what my the essence of my critique what, is. What is the essence of your critique? Get okay. to your point. I, I'm trying to. Go ahead. But, you know, we got a lot of interrupters here. I'm here. So, the essence of my critique is, this is the reason why you should chuck your Quran away. Why, Bob? Because innately within your nature, you believe that you should treat people equal, with equal dignity. Yes, I should. I there will. There you go. And I will. Thank you. And you are a better man than Islam. Because no, in Sharia no. law, human beings are not treated with equal dignity in the law. A Christian is actually calculated to be worth less than a Muslim white, in, yeah. blood money, black, yeah. in blood money. Yeah, that's in blood money. Why you're is that true? Man, Am I lying about your religion in there? I'm talking is that about that blood reason? money. Wait, wait. I'm talking about hypocrite. blood wait, wait, money. Wait, wait, wait. The payment that, for unlawful killing. I'm literally telling you. I'm literally telling you. I'm literally telling you that that the idea of compensation for when someone is killed accidentally and unlawfully, the laws apply differently for Christians and Muslims. Okay. And it should. There you go. It should. Now, you don't I agree with him. Same the Bible. Same you the Bible. don't agree with Same him. The Bible. He's committed you know, to the injustices of Islam, but you, you are not. You and that is why you are a better well, man than your religion. And so, so, address, so address, you address that. Point now. Please, stay yeah. your point. I've got your point. Yeah, you've got my point. How would you like to reply to that? I don't. I don't give you any validity because of the three things that you said that insulted me. Yeah. We're going to be saying why should be a slave to another. You're going to be for any value. What about the Quran? What is he saying? The Quran's opinion? What about scholars from Azar? University. Jesus said, "Oh, this belief coming from the Muslim kingdom." I don't care about what you're saying. saying what about as a university? What about himself? About himself? So, I'm going to show you a quote from a Muslim scholar that demonstrates the kind of inequality that I'm talking about. I'm going to read it. Yeah, I'm going to read it. Yeah, I'm going to read it. And I think it's it's really sad that your emotions are prickled to cloud your intellect. It's really sad. Yeah. And yet here you are. And yet here you are. So, let, let me just show you. So, 
In Islam, the Jews in the temple they went angry and beat some man in the temple. And they lived. But they are people. Whose temple is that? They are people. They are not his children. They are not his children. You can ask my question. Whose temple is that? It doesn't matter. Is that Jesus' temple? Is that Jesus' temple? Is that Jesus' temple? Okay. So this is an example from Sahih al Bukhari about slaves. Okay. Just another example of your slave trading prophet. Yeah, no, you're I'm better not, than... I'm going to ask you again, no yeah. to point at me. I, I really, man to man, yeah. I'm going to say it one last yeah. time. Yeah. Please do not point at me when you speak to me. Okay, fine. Okay? So, so in, terms, sure in, terms, in terms of, in terms of Sahih al-Bakari, listen to what he says. Narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Qudri, that while he was sitting with Allah's Apostle, he said, Oh, Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of booty. Uh, are you suddenly a Quranist? Of course you're not a Quranist. You say that for the camera, but you believe in these hadiths when the camera's not on you. And then when the camera's on you, suddenly, oh, well, it's the hadiths, it's not the Quran. So, listen, listen. Open to interpretation. These are Sahih hadiths, my friend. Yeah, Sahih al-Bukhari. By al qudri Oh, Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of beauty, and we are interested in their prices. What is your opinion about coitus interruptus? Now, you're an intellect, intelligent man, you know what coitus interruptus is. Thank you. It's not actually, but, but it sounds like rape. Coitus yeah. interruptus means to withdraw before the point of ejaculation. Okay. That's what coitus interruptus means. Yeah. The Prophet said, do you really do that? It is better for you not to do it. No soul which Allah has destined to exist, but will surely come into existence. Now, do you agree you with sex I slavery? Are you right? No, you don't. Right. No. right. No. So you, Muhammad practiced sex slavery. Did that say you rape the slaves? Um, say, do you believe in sex slavery? I do not, absolutely do Right, not. so Muhammad... Ask any, any Muslim here no. if they believe in sex do you know, do you believe in, Do you believe in... So, you're, what is, so, so your end game is do you believe to destroy what you're about Islam, isn't it? Yeah, so, that's what no, my, my end game is to promote Christianity. <laughs> Yeah, my end game is to promote Christianity. No. Well, I'm not a Christian. What just is about slavery? I will not become a Christian. From the Bible, what just is about slavery? No, right. So you're wasting your time. No, that's what he's doing. So, so I, want to, I want to read to you a Muslim scholar. So this is not a Christian this scholar. Is one, one it's not one someone one with an anti-Islam yes, yes. agenda. Yes, yes. Oh, right. This is an Islamic no, scholar about from Al-Hazar University. What just is the Bible about slave? And what he says is this. Dr. Abdul Latif Mushtahari of Azar University. Listen to what he said. Islam does yeah. not yeah. prohibit slavery, no, but retains it for two reasons. The first is war, has, um, in which the um, captive is either the, the, the killed or enslaved, slave. provided, yeah, yeah, provided yeah, right. that the war is not between Muslims, is not acceptable to enslave violators or the offenders if they are Muslims. Only non-Muslims may be enslaved or killed. The second reason is the sexual propagation of slaves. No, this is an Islamic scholar from Al Hazar University. So we've given you hadiths. Uh -huh. We've given you scholars. Look at it, look at it. Now let's give you yeah. Quran. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's give you Quran. Uh, I, I, can you can you give someone a chance to speak? Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll speak to him. I'll speak to him. Is that one way street? Go on. Da, 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 da. You won't shake his face. I'm done. I'm you're done speaking point. with you. So okay. You're okay. Your you're, you're, so you're, you're, find another victim. You can walk away anytime. 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 My point to you is. Can you read this one? My point to you is, bro. My point to you is, bro. My point to you is, bro, is that your religion teaches the denigration of humanity. Some human beings should be treated better than other people. What color God comes? Right? And our law, our law, influenced by Christianity, teaches equality under the law between men and women. It's a secular country. It, it was no, it was never a, a Christian country. It was a Christian society. All men are equal, but it's okay. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And and this was this was the contradiction. And within the American the legal system. Will, will, can you read this one? Can you read this one? I you that you know Coward, more can you read this one? Than I do. Yeah, I can you read this one? Can you read? I think you misunderstand I, I my heart. I think I you told, misunderstand I my heart. Look, yeah. You're entitled to do that, of course. He's shy, he's shy, he's shy from his book. Look, look what he's saying. Look what he's saying. When Muslims come here, they talk about the Quran. He's a coward, they can't read it. When Christians come here, 
They talk about how shitty Islam is. No, we don't talk about how shitty Islam is. You don't know. Watch our channel. We put up loads of videos about Christianity. I'll be doing it today. You don't talk about. We do. We do. You see, that's a lie that Muslims tell themselves. I see it here. It's a it's a lie Muslims tell themselves. I will be doing talks on Christianity today. I will be doing talks on Christianity today. Yes, here. Start. Yeah, I, I will. I will. But first, I got to deal with these guys. Can you yeah. deal with them? So, so my point is, my point is, bro, and 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 this is my final point because you want the end conversation to end, and yes, so I do. We, we shall we shall end it. Okay. Yeah. My final point to you is this: that if you believe that human beings should be treated in law with equal dignity because they are of equal dignity. You should abandon Prophet Islam Muhammad because it does exactly the opposite. It does exactly the opposite. It does exactly the opposite. Your conscience is better than your prophet. Okay? You have a great act. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Uncle, I'd, I'd like to debate you on something.